All right, everyone, uh, Mininth here with another comparison between the deck user interface and big picture mode. I was alerted in the Discord that if you put Steam into the small mode, you can actually access the big picture mode again uh, without having to get in game. And that's going to make these configurations easier. So I had it in, in a large mode, open the configuration to get the deck UI and then put it in small mode and opened up the big picture UI at the same time. Uh, this will make the comparisons much quicker. So what's the comparison that I'm going to do today? I've done a couple on adding an extra activator or an extra command, as well as the multi button mode and cycle binding. Uh, today, I wanted to focus on the actual binding screen here. So this was a, a left bumper. Let's go ahead just for the sake of, of stuff. Let's go ahead and go to the binding screen here. So the comparison that I'm wanting to make is how these are laid out. And I'm not really going to say one is necessarily better than the other at the moment. Uh, I'm not counting clicks like I did in the past couple of videos. Uh, I just simply want to compare how this is set up. So as you can see, the name for it is right here immediately. And then the mouse stuff is here. The keyboard stuff is here. The numpad's there. The gamepad's there. And the action layer stuff is here or action layer action set stuff's there. And then the system bindings are all here. So everything is kind of on one screen, uh, which makes mouse navigation super fast, super easy. You can just point and click at anything. It's one click, no matter what you want to access. I know I'm saying that I'm not comparing the clicks and the reason why it will become obvious in a moment. Over here, you have gamepad on one screen, then mouse on another, keyboard on another. Numpad is separate from the keyboard, which I'll touch on in a minute. Then of course the action set, action layer stuff, and then the command bindings. They're all in their own tabs. And this makes mouse navigation a little bit more of a pain. However, the reason why I'm not directly comparing clicks is because if you were to use gamepad navigation here, hold on one second. If you were to use gamepad navigation here, yes, it's going to take a lot. And also, you know, you can wrap around, but depending on what you're trying to do, like if you, because it starts, because it starts up at the name, if you wanted a gamepad binding, you have to click over to gamepad just to get there in the first place. So it could take a lot more. However, in the deck UI, if you were to do controller navigation, it's just automatically right here. So it's potentially less depending on what you want to do. Um, also, the bumpers navigate in between the tabs, so that's nice as well. So you can quickly go from, you know, a keyboard area all the way over to the system area. Uh, no big deal. That's why I'm not doing a direct comparison this time, because it really starts becoming highly dependent on what it is you're trying to bind uh, as for how many clicks it's going to take to get you there. Um, this is a little bit better for gamepad navigation, I would say. This is better for mouse navigation. Um, however, even when talking about gamepad navigation, there's kind of an elephant in the room to talk about, and that's the listen for key. Uh, and this is highly beneficial. It's only in big picture mode. And if all you're doing is simple rebinding, the listen for key is incredibly fast. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do up to here. Uh, gamepad, mouse, keyboard, or numpad, the action sets and the system stuff. That's a little different and will take a little bit more setting up to do. But if you're doing anything from these four categories or so, or anything on this screen here, basically, except for the mouse delta and uh, the system stuff here and the action stuff set there. If you're doing any of that, the listen for key, just regardless of the interface, would reduce it down to two clicks possible. So, what does the listen for key do? Basically, you press left bumper and it says listening for binding. Pressing a mouse, keyboard, or gamepad input to bind it or hold either the escape key or B button to exit mode. So it makes no matter what you're trying to bind, two button presses. It doesn't matter where on this screen it is or under what tab it is. Again, excluding the action sets and system bindings, which would uh, be this row here and of course the mouse delta, which is right there. 
uh, you wouldn't be able to do it uh, either of these uh, with the listen for binding. The listen for key is only in big picture mode. It is not in the deck user interface. Uh, I would like to see it return. However, as you saw when doing controller navigation, it's left bumper to activate it. And the bumpers in the deck user interface are already uh, assigned for scrolling through the tab. So they'd have to pick a different button in order to do it, which presents a bit of a problem potentially. Um, that'll be another video though. Uh, one thing that's frustrating me about the deck user interface compared to big picture mode is in big picture mode, you actually have a configuration that you can work with to change all of the key binds for this kind of stuff. Um, for navigation, you, you, know, you can even assign a cursor to a trackpad. Um, you can't really do that here. I, I haven't seen cursor navigation on controller in the deck user interface, um, at least as far as the Steam controller is concerned. So that's the comparison. I'm not going to say one is necessarily better than the other, unless you're taking into account the listen for key. Then, in my opinion, big picture mode is kind of superior. Um, one thing I do want to touch on with the deck user interface, though, is I don't really see why these need to be two different tabs. You know, I can understand separating gamepad out from keyboard and, and numpad. Like, I can understand, you know, making these their own sections. I, I can understand the logic there. But I don't see necessarily why these need to be two different tabs. Um, that just contributes to what I call, you know, submenu hell. But um, anyway, that's the comparison for today. Uh, not really looking at the number of clicks, just kind of comparing the experience of using one versus the other. Again, I really think the listen for key needs to make a return in the deck user interface. Uh, until then, it really kind of depends on what exactly it is you're trying to bind uh, as for which one is going to be superior or not. So thanks for watching. Bye.